I've been thinking about first impressions. <laughs> no, I've been thinking a lot about first impressions. My uh, first name is Nicole, which I used to go by until middle school, but uh, people would call me not cool, which is not a good first impression. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, it cultivated a lot of something called self-hatred, which I'm told is not healthy. Uh, yeah, so I decided to cope with that by being needlessly in love with my own appearance. It works because I am needlessly attractive. Yes, we all know this is true. I am unfairly hot. No, but I had problems with appearing cool in middle school and that sucked. So I cope with it by being a punk back then. That's uh, factually incorrect. I am still a punk. Uh, I'm sure you can all tell based on my appearance and uh, general demeanor. Yeah, uh, a lot of people like to call me a poser. Uh, I like to call me a guy who looks good in sweaters and collared shirts. I am probably the only guy who has been asked, Hey, you like Dance Gavin Dance? Name three of their songs. I'd like to think I have a comprehensive understanding of women's issues. Yeah, that's right, I'm a feminist. Does that make me cool? Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, I am obsessed with appearing cool, and it's a problem. It's gotten to the point where it's detrimental to me. I used to be a lifeguard, and I worked at this fancy gym which had a water slide. And uh, it was a pretty, pretty big water slide, and at the end of shifts, because it'd be nice and hot, I, uh, you know, want to go down the water slide. And, side note, being a lifeguard is not as cool as Baywatch made it out to me. I saw David Hasselhoff, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna look like that. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I wear a tight red shirt and little red shorts that make my hairy thighs very visible. It's an Indian problem. Nah, I'm working with what I've got. But I tie my little whistle around my wrist, I take off my little baggie, hand it off to the other person, and I take my giant sausage and hand it to the other man, and I always had this plan where I would try to go down the slide as fast as possible. Um, which involves a very simple setup. Uh, you, you've got to make sure that you're in like a tricep dip position. <laughs> because you're trying to reduce your surface area as much as possible. See, like this, this isn't enough. You've got to be like this. See, uh, please take notes in case you want to attempt this. And I, I was going super fast, and fast equals cool, for like 30 seconds, because then I kind of, sort of, <laughs> slammed into the ground. Um, oh, I guess the squall of the slide. Sorry, I was distracted by the fact that this floor is I I incredibly clean. <laughs> and I just, oh, I was stuck on the bottom of the pool, and I was like, ah, oh, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts. No, play cool, play cool, play cool, Nicole. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey guys, I'm doing all right, right? Nicole, your eye is bleeding. I am doing great. My eye was bleeding, and I now have a massive scar underneath my eye, which I tell people that I got from boxing practice because I don't want to look like a dorkazoid. I'm told I look like a dorkazoid. This problem is detrimental to me! I don't like it! And then I realized my problem, because I started watching this show called Chainsaw Man. Anybody heard of Chainsaw Man? Yeah. There we go, Chainsaw Man, it's cool. Yeah, every single character in it is super cool, and they just are cool naturally. This anime is super rad. And then I realized, that's my problem. My problem isn't that I'm trying too hard to be cool. My problem is that my inspiration for being cool is from anime. Thank you, I'm Nicole Chin Matera. Please clap or I will cry. <laughs> <laughs>